Hey, this is Tim here. I hope you're doing well. This is exercise number 13, AutoCAD. Um, our, the job today is we're going to design a room layout. We're going to create an office layout um, using AutoCAD. We're going to practice using blocks. Um, we're not going to actually draw a whole lot. You're going to like this. Uh, we're going to use AutoCAD um, for what it's very, very strong at. It's very, very good at any sort of plans or room layouts. Any sort of um, room organized layout that I've had to do over the years, like the mechatronics room I'm in, um, my own house, uh, maker spaces, I have always um, gone straight to AutoCAD because it's, it's, it is definitely the best program for that, I think. Now, um, I'm going to give you this drawing here of a building. This building is 50 square. 50 by 50 so it's a total of 250 200 2500 square feet okay so um that's a pretty half decent size for us an office um what do we need to do we need to add windows as well so this is just my this is just a list of stuff that you're going to have to add um typically you would get a drawing like this from an architect or the building manager um so when I was trying to draw up the mechatronics room here in the college, I went to facilities and they were able to provide me with a DWG of the the third floor of the cult building in this campus. So if you don't if you don't have access to a DWG, well that's no problem. You're just gonna you're gonna break out your measuring tape uh, or you're gonna grab one of these laser and um, distance measuring tapes that uses a laser they're about 25 to 30 dollars um, and who makes them bosh very very good um so this this drawing that you see here you're going to be able to get it from the description so you're just going to download it directly from the description okay so um you're going to go through i haven't designed this yet but um, I was just imagining what I would like if I had to work in an office, which, please God, I never have to. Um, if I ever did, this is how I would design an office to make it somewhat user-friendly. So we're going to have to have a computer area for 16 people. Windows are important because I don't want to be working in some depressing building without sunlight. A conference room would be nice. Um... Right now, I've only one room for a unisex toilet, but if we can figure it out, we can make, might make two. Um, I want lots of greens, lots of plants. I would like pinball and a snooker table or a pool table. Storage is important, and I want to have the private office where everyone else can work together. Okay, so these are our requirements for this office. Um, so let's let's start so i'm we're not going to draw up um the desks and the chairs and the pool table from scratch we're going to use things called blocks so blocks are existing geometry that people have drawn and um, we're gonna we're gonna you're gonna learn how to download blocks and insert them into your drawings because why would we want to draw all why would we want to draw up chairs and desks and toilets and sinks when that's all been drawn before and doors so um <clears throat> if you go to view and you go to blocks here on the right hand side um this this what would you call it this palette should open up i want and i can move this around it's floating now i'm going to pull this over here and I'm going to lock it in place. All right. Now, um, I'm going to. We're going to install some libraries, block libraries first. So let's let's um, let's do that first. How do I? Let me just see if I can delete this here for a second. Anyway, right. So how do we get these block libraries? I want you to create a folder called CAD Libs, which just stands for CAD Libraries, okay? And you're going to go to Google Chrome. 
and what we're going to do is what is the one that I like cadblocks.net all right cad-blocks.net there's loads of them out there what I like about this one is um, it's easy to use um, you don't have to sign up and you don't have to pay so anywhere you have to pay and anywhere you have to sign up I'd stay away from right so what we're going to do is I'm going to go here to furniture AutoCAD files because I think I am going to want um, a sofa right here and you're not going to click this add here you're going to click download CAD blocks and it's going to come as a zip folder you're going to put that into CAD libs just like that let's go back I would like a bed in the office but let's probably not let's not not right now um, tables tables and chairs now we want the plan not the elevation this will be for the conference room all right we'll just download it put it in your folder cad libs auxiliary elevation auxiliary furniture no no these are no we don't need anything there let's go back bathroom cad files water closet that's funny they won't call it toilet um download cad blocks save it in your folder um what about a sink do we need sinks yeah we need a sink download cad blocks stick it in the same folder now um you're going to go to vegetation i like it we're going to get i want it in color color trees in plan cad blocks download CAD blocks I, I look I would just be kind of careful download any decent site how do you know if it's decent or not you don't really do a search if you're if you're ever looking for more blocks do a search for like the best AutoCAD block libraries and um, and that will pick stick with good websites I don't be careful downloading dodgy uh, blocks from dodgy websites now um furniture office equipment download okay download it here as well so let's have a look um i have sofas tables color plant trees water closet sinks and the office now what you're going to do is you're going to open up each one and it's going to inside of the, the zip file it's going to have a dwg file you need to extract pull the dwg file out of the zip file and just put it in that folder so a zip file is kind of like a box that we need to take the dwg file out of the box okay so one other thing you can do is now so i have the sofas dwg out of the zip file the dwg contains all of the blocks i'm going to delete that zip file i'm going to double click on the tables now i wish i could i'll extract it it uses the same folder I'll go extract there it is um, it's in its own folder okay I'll copy that cut it and paste it look um, it would be easier for me if I gave you all this in a file which I'm not okay I'm not um, double click can I go cut, go back, paste? 
right I'll delete tables double click I'll cut this paste it I got the trees now cut paste look hopefully you know how to use zip files but I've seen students their when they see a zip file their head gets melted so um, if you have questions just put it in the comments or email me all right so I have all these DWG files. I have the office ones of the sinks, the WC, and all the blocks are in those DWG files. All right. Now, um, let's get some dimensions on this. So just so we can draw them. We leave the blocks for a second. I'm going to go to a dimension and I'm going to go from, let's create a new layer. dimension one and we'll make it my favorite color we'll have a dark blue and I'll turn that layer on so we haven't we have our dimension layer I'm going to get a dimension and I'm going to go from this point up to here and I'm going to go click and this is good for you to see what's happening here it did put my dimension in but it did I zoom in here and it says 600 screw that we want this in feet all right now 600 inches is what is what it's saying let's go 600 divided by 12 is that 50 um, I have the old phone out it's it's 10 o'clock it's too early 600 divided by 12 50 50 feet so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to have to adjust the size of the dimensions because our drawing is our, our drawing is very very big so we'll go modify and give me one second lines i want to scale the lines and everything else with the dimension size and I'm just looking for that right now text height fit uh, scale for dimension features scale dimensions to layout let's see what this does what happens if I give this an overall scale of 10 okay we're going in the right direction modify um, we need this to be maybe 50 okay that's good and the arrows are good we could make it a little bit bigger um, we'll make it 60 right now primary units architectural precision um, this will do feet and inches and we just need no 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 we don't need that let's try that 50 feet happy days I like it put a dimension in there and then we'll put another dimension in here now and place that dimension there now um 50 by 50 2500 square feet these are our exterior doors this is the main block wall that goes around the building and then inside here we have smaller walls now is that a good idea to put a door there like that um we might move that door over we'll worry about that later so what are we going to do first um let's think about this let's put some windows in the building okay now um what is a typical window size uh, the, the the symbol for a window now i don't know if i just type in window here i don't think that's going to come up is it no um i'm going to draw them in the symbol let's let's do another another layer and we'll call this windows and I'm going to make them a different color what do we, we make them I'm just going to try yellow here and just see what it looks like 
and we move on to it. And I'm going to come down from here. I'm going to come down. That's an inch, isn't it? Let's come down 40 inches. And I'm going to draw a line across to here. Now, you're not going to be... In reality, you're not going to be able to pick where the windows are unless you unless you get into a nice architectural technician job, which you might. You know, so I shouldn't say that, but right now, an architect or the building engineer would decide out decide where the windows are. But look, we're just having a bit of fun. Now, um, we want big windows. We want windows that are at least four feet in length. So four feet is four by twelve is forty eight. Let's make them fifty. Too small how 50 what's 50 uh, is four feet let's make them six feet we'll make them 72 and what you're going to do then is you're going to draw a line right in the middle of that and bring it up to there and that is your that is your symbol for a uh, that, that is your window. That's what a label looks like for a window. Now, maybe we could do, um, instead of me being lazy, we could pattern this. That's what we will do. We'll do an array. I'm going to select, it says array, rectangular, select objects. All right. Now, we don't want any rows. We want one row. No, 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 let's try this. We want one column and maybe four rows. But we're going in the wrong direction. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So I click that down. And then what is the, the distance between them? If I make that minus 50. Not, that's, that's too close. Can I drag this? What happens if I make this minus 100? We're looking better. Now, do I need to make this 5? We'll make this 110. Let, I'm just, I'm just, I'm playing around with this. Just to bring it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I like it. There's my windows. I feel like those windows should be like a light blue would be better. So we'll open this up. Layer properties. Like a cyan. Lovely, lovely job. I like it. Now, can I copy all these windows like so? I'm going to press Control C and Control V. Now, I don't know what the hell a little tail is sticking on there for, but we got rid of it. I'm going to go rotate. And I'm going to rotate these 90 degrees. And then I'm going to move. No, I'm going to copy, actually. Now, I need to draw... I need to draw a line over a little bit just to help me get me on my way. We'll make it 40, all right, to get that end point. And I'll go copy. I'll select all the objects, press enter. I'll specify the base point. I'll bring this over. And I'm going to delete that little line. Now, hopefully you know there's no way I can have a window there. It would look very strange. So we're just going to get rid of that. Get rid. Oh. Now, these are all. They're all clumped together as a group. Okay. What I need to do here is I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to go to explode. It says breaks a compound object into its component objects. Which I did. And now I can just get rid of this lad. You can't have a window like where a wall is like that. It looks strange. Um, 
So now we've got lots of windows, we've got, we've got more sunlight, but we've got to put windows in here as well. Probably, we're going to make this our toilet, we don't want a window in there. Um, right, I'm going to copy two of these lads. I'm going to get myself another line. I'll bring this up 40. Trust me. You don't want to work in a place that doesn't have windows. It's it's not it's not nice. Um it gets all very quickly. Now I'm gonna go uh cut, grab these windows. No, I'm only allowed two of them. Watch let's see if I can do this. Can I bring this down? Oh yeah. I like it. And then I'm gonna go rotate. And I'm going to go move. And I'm going to, I'm going to um, put my windows in there. I was just, I'm looking out the window on this mechatronic lab we have here in, in, in Anne Arundel County. And I'm looking straight out and I can see a shit ton of trees. So when my students are wrecking my head, I can, I can look out the window, pretend that I'm not even listening to them, and it's a beautiful thing. Let's draw a line up here, make a 350. Um, let's grab, copy. Uh, we need, we need another, um, can I just grab this guy? I can, control C, control V, paste it. Rotate it. I'll rotate this 90 degrees. And then I'll move this little window. Press enter. Up here. And we have a nice weaver window there now. Alright. Um, right, we have the windows done. Now, we need a few windows here. Um... Let's add them later after we've added the doors. Now, um, I'm going to open up my CAD lib. No. Let's minimize this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. And does it say doors anywhere? Plan. Okay, let, let's go back here. We need to find doors. Closets, close. Doors. Here we are. Now notice, um, and we'll download it. Notice that I can't seem to find any um, gaming game stuff. Can I? Illumination. Um, light is important. But let, we'll add the games later. I'm going to double click on the doors. Cut paste and we go back I'm gonna go so how did I get this um, view blocks and I can turn it off but I can turn it back on now um, what am I going to do I'm gonna go here browse block libraries desktop CAD libs doors give it a sec I'm going to I'm going to turn off this and now I have access to all these doors. Now, um I'm going to make yeah, we're going to modify this building and we're going to have a main door. Um we're going to go to edit extend. I'm going to extend this over. And I'm going to extend that over. And I'm going to get rid of this line here. Can I get rid of that line there? Lovely. And I'm going to get rid of this line here. And we'll get rid of that line. Whoops. That line there. And that line there. We're going to get some fancy doors. Do we want doors that go to the outside? Yeah. So I'm going to pick one of these doors here. I don't know what this block name is. 905BE. 
God, they're small. There, is that bigger? Smaller. Now what, let me see what sort of size these doors are. Fa fancy looking doors. Um, dimension. From there to there. Uh, four, a four foot door. Um, 36. We want about a six inch door, I would think. It's too small. So I'm just pulling out these blocks and I'm just seeing 5-3, too small. Now, what's a fancy looking door? All right, now which one was that? God, there's a lot of them. Um, hold on for a second. A lot of doors. Too small. Get, find me a big door. That's all you need to do. It needs to be around six feet. Um, too small. And it needs to open to the outside. All right. Ah, look at that. That's, that one there is not too bad. What is that? 256. 256. That's the boy. Right there. That's the one we want. It, it says 4C, 4CA24. All right. Get rid of them. You want a nice big door coming into the building. Now... Um, do we want the doors to be yet on the same as yeah? Let's do this. Windows. Windows and doors. And we're going to place this. Now, what um, what is the distance there from here? Let's get the dimension out. I don't know what I clicked on there, but it'll do the job. What is it from there to there? Straighten up, come on. Approximately 18 foot, four inches will do the job. I like the door there, it swings to the outside and it looks like a good solid door. Right, now there's that. Um, now, Let's add some windows just over here, and then we'll be done with them. I'll highlight these. Press Control V. Let's just put them there for the time being. And we might not have enough for two, so we'll just get rid of one. And I'm going to go... If you can design a better office than me... Um, more power to you make it interesting don't be afraid to use different blocks you don't have to copy me um, but I understand if you do so we go move and plunk that in there and that's a nice place you want lots of sunlight let's turn off this little construction line we were using now let's get rid of windows we've done that now let's have a look at the toilet um, we're going to go to select a folder. We're going to go to um, WC Water Closets and get rid of make sure there's nothing in filter. And these lads are pretty standard. Um, what's going on here? Oh lord, tiny little thing. Now why is that messed up? Um, 
Why is the scale messed up? Do I need to multiply these by 25? Um, let's see what sort of size this is. The scale is all off. Why? Um, if I click on this and I pull it out, can I scale it up? Just give me a second. I know I need to zoom in, don't I? Um, so that just moves it around. Why can't I scale this lad? I pull that in. If I click on scale here and I select the objects and I scale this up, can I scale this up? Specify scale factor 50. All right, I'm going to pause this for a second and I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm doing here. So just relax while I figure this out. So I've seen. I've seen situations where whenever we bring um, a block into AutoCAD, its its scale is all over the place. One th one thing that we I, I was able to work around is if you look down at the options here, if you uncheck uniform scale and just put in 2000, what that does is it just scales every measurement in the block up by 2000. And I don't know if that's the accurate I wonder are these in millimeters? How many millimeters are in a foot? Let's have a look. Um, how many millimeters in a foot? 300 millimeters in one foot. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, use the number 2000 anywhere for the time being. Um, if somebody can figure that out, by all means, go for it. Um, let's, let's. I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to move this. If I click on zero, it'll move it to layer zero, and I'm going to move this over here. And you're going to eyeball that. You're going to put that not totally up against the wall, but out a little bit around there. You can. This is where we can eyeball um, um, blocks. Um, be careful though if you are drawing this for a real job there is a proper distance between here and the center of the toilet um, I can't remember what it is um, but that, that is an important dimension so if you're really doing this work um, watch those dimensions also you need at least 15 inches from the wall to be compliant so there are codes on where a toilet has to be um i think it's 32 inches from the wall the center is 32 inches um let's get a, a sink and i le make sure I, le I leave this at um 2000 now um what happens if i do this if i bring this in here and i wrote i have a nice little vanity there can i move can i rotate that And what I can do is I can move the block and I'll put that right in the corner. Now, um, we have a toilet, we have a sink, um, we need a little shelf for books or something like that. Now, we'll get a plant. TV would be nice in there, but no. Um, let's, let's get colour uh, trees. Big, um, okay, big tree. Um, very big tree, right? Nice little bu bu bush there, right? 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go scale. I'm going to select this and I'm going to click a base point around here and I can I can manually scale this and then I'm going to move it. Can I move it in? Too big. I need to make this smaller. Um, that's nice. I don't know. There's a nice little tree. Can we make it a bit bigger though? Now we're talking. That's probably too big, but I like it. Now, um, we have a toilet, we have a vanity, um, we're going to need a door. So, what is this one? C01DB1, and it's massive. Let's, let's um, turn off the uniform scale. And bring that out. Humongous. Why is that humongous now? Um, they were like perfect a minute ago. Let's go uniform scale of one then for you. Okay, nice. Um, uh, we're going to go windows and door. We'll I'll copy this to windows and doors. And I'm going to rotate it. Now that's fully opened. And it puts that right there in the center line, which is okay. Um, now, if your shapes are looking wonky, you can always just type in regen. And it looks a lot better there now. Right, so we have a door going into the bathroom, right? Let's get rid of that. We've done that. Now, um, this is going to be my office that I hang out in. And uh, will we do the main computer area first? We're going to go to office. And I'm just going to drag these out. And they, they're working fine now. And let's let's go to zero. The, let's put in a new layer. And we'll call it desks. Um, oh, I love it. A little drawing table. That's awesome. Big time. Old school. What's this one here? Bank manager type desk. Now we just that's a big desk, isn't it? Um What's that one there? That's oh that's nice fancy chair and then what's this one here yeah that's your cubicle very fancy desk right there so what we could do let's get um, poor people in their cubicles right there could be worse this is definitely my desk Let's put that in there and rotate that. I need to be able to get out behind it, don't I? Something like there. Um, I'm going to need another cubicle, but I, I do like that throne. That looks awesome. Let's put him in there. Um, this is way too big. 
So we got four there. Control C, Control V. That's not too bad. Now, um, what else is there? What's this one here? I like that. Um, this is going to be the conference room. This is going to be storage. We could rotate that. God, it would be funny if someone actually made an office just like this, based on from this design. Um, move. Just like that, okay. Now, um, do we want anything else? What's this one here? Let's... Um, Let's put a let's we're gonna need a door going into this storeroom. What are we saying? Storage conference room. Um yeah, I'm too lazy. I'm gonna I'm going to extend this and extend that and get rid of those two and we have a bigger storage and what we want to probably do is have a door coming out from the main let's pull this down and we're gonna I'm gonna get this door here I'm gonna go copy can I highlight in that point and extend I'm gonna extend 10 lovely um, and I'm gonna bring this out And same with this. Um, now, we, would, we, would we want them doors to swing out like that? Um, I would think so, yeah. Because we've got more space here. And then we're going to need another one here. Um, copy. Put this there like that. Now, um, I'm going to move this um, little drafter's desk. No, no. Ah, oh, no, that'd be nice. You can look out the window. Um, there's that. We need somewhere for... We need a conference table and we need somewhere for like an an entrance like um a receptionist yeah let's let's um way too big jeez that's massive how come these chairs are small and that's humongous um nah i don't like that it's taking up too much space all right, so how many, we have 12, 14. Um, we could probably get another two in here. This is a nice spot. Too much. The people who are taking my class the person who gets the best looking uh, office will get a two dollar bill a, a prize of a two dollar bill thomas jefferson on the you, you never see them now that's that's too much um yeah that's good there now but that that's going to really cramp getting into that conference room um yeah I'm going to move this down 
move this up a little bit now do I have any let's let's go back here for a sec and see is there any storage See if you can find it. Um, what we can do is this. Storage closet. Now, um, we'll get rid of the Romans. We bring it all, all the way up to the top there. I wish I could... Can I just go A... Aerial black, uh, just aerial, I think. Um, we'll make this point five. Uh, what do we do? no? Ah, for God's sake, hold on a sec here. Highlight it, just we must have to be bigger 50, too big. Um, 10. Oh man, it's going on. Highlight it. We'll make this 5. Enter. And let's see what that looks like. That's weird, isn't it? Um, it's 5. We'll make it 10. Um, storage closet. Okay, now, uh, conference room. Tables. I do like a circular table. Here, maybe. All right. Um, we're going to need lots of trees still. So we got the we got the conference room kind of taken care of. We have the doors everywhere. Um, we need more greens. Private office is good. Uh, is there anything else I can get? I do like that drafters table. I could put that in my office. I could put one of them in my office as well. Yeah. And. I'm going to rotate it. I think it'd never be used in fairness, but... Bless you, Tommy, all right? Yeah. Taking up a lot of space there, but it's all right. We have another one there. Uh, we could have a pinball machine in there instead. Screw that. Let's get rid of that. Now, let's put in lots of greens. Um, let's make this 2,000, very big, alright, but at least we got it out there, okay, um, now, um, we could, it would make my life easier if I, if I make this 1,500, even smaller. Let's make it a thousand. Still too big. Five hundred. Still too big. Three hundred. That looks like just a pair.
Now, can I rotate that? It's going to get in the way there. There we go. Um, let's get rid of these outside. Now, um, what else? That is nice. Um, no, it's too big though. I'll have to chop it down. Uh, we'll make it 0.75. Put that in the corner. Um, no, that looks weird. Um, let's not go crazy with the greens. I'm getting lazy. Um, too bloody big. All right. Now, um, let's do a few more. there I don't know what you put one there in fairness what about over here yeah now um, what's next me a tool table and a pinball so what do I do I'm gonna go to uh, AutoCAD uh, ga uh, games office games pinball pinball block I don't know, is this going to work? Um, download. No, screw that. CAD forum. No, we don't want that either. Yeah, no, this one might work. Game equipment one. Is it there? Lovely job. I'm going to go here. Game equipment. Um, do they make blocks out of it? Maybe maybe it's all of it, is it? Oh yeah. It kinda sucks. Um now what do I want first of all? What is this? Now why if I go here it's not in block format? So they haven't split it up into blocks. So I'm gonna I'm going to just leave this as one and I'm just gonna drag this out and I want this thing whatever that is air hockey let's get oh let's um explode this get rid of all of that Get rid of all of that. Highlight this block. Move it over to the zero layer. And copy and paste it. Now, 
There's our air hockey. Now I'm going to rotate this. Make sure your polar is on. And we have this. Now let's get us. We need we need a, a pool table. Lock. Snooker table or a pool table. Oh, I like it. Oh, they have that one as well. Look. Let's get rid of this. Right now, hold on. Oh, nice. Look at this. And um, what else? Table tennis. Foosball. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. Um, what will we get rid of? Hmm. It's either the air hockey or the ping pong. Not a fan of ping pong. We will rotate this. That's a good spot right there. Air hockey. Too much, too big. And we'll get the foosball. The only thing we're missing in this place now is a little bar. Okay. There you go. That's 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 our office. Um, could be worse. Now, um, what are we going to do? Um, we're going to go to view. No layout. Uh, rectangular. I'm going to press enter just to fit it in place, and we don't want that. So what's going on here? Um. I'm very confused. No, let's undo this. If I go and I go zoom all. Okay, yeah, that's a problem. Let's get rid of all of this and zoom in here. And what I want you to do is, um, what can we do? Let's have a look at this drawing, the original drawing. Um, I want you to add in some a few dimensions, nothing crazy. Um, let's have a look. Now, um, what are we going to do? Zoom real time. I right click and I can get that. Very, very nice. And I'm going to press escape. Can I double click inside here? Model. I'm going to move this down. And I'm going to click on paper. And now we have our drawing. Um, fill this out. Some of you aren't even bothered filling this out. Go on, make it look pretty. Um, Add some notes, give it an address, um, talk about, add some notes saying that there's enough office space for 16 people, there's a private office. Um, make this, do a better job on this if you can. Um, so the, the, the student who makes the nicest office is going to get at least a $2 bill with Thomas Jefferson's face on it. All right, that's it.